Hey guys, James West here. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about book reviews. Now, don't, just so you guys don't get confused, this is not me reviewing a book that I've read. This is actually me, this is actually me talking about book reviews and why they're important to any of you writers out there. Now, I think we all know that book reviews are kind of, kind of the main way like, books are talked about today, especially with social media. And this is kind of the, the main way you market your books. And a lot of you, if you're, for, if you're publishing your first book, might think, man, I'm going to have like five reviews by the end of the week. And to that, I say, no, you're not. <laughs> Unless you have like, if you're somehow arranged for like five book, professional book reviewers to have copies of your book, no, you're not going to get five reviews. You'll be lucky to get one. And the reason for this is statistically, uh, you only about one, one for every 200 readers actually leave a review on, on sites like Amazon or Goodreads. And the, re the reason for this is because some, a lot of people, uh, they just don't really, they know how to write a review. Their writing still not that great. And, and then it's also why a lot of people just go with like a quick, uh, okay, I'll do that four star, stars, and then done. So, and now, right about now, probably a lot of you might be thinking, hey, I could give it to my, to my friends, my family, I mean, they'll give me good reviews. Uh, I, I wouldn't do this, well, actually, more for the family. You can go ahead and give books to your friends. But for the family, I wouldn't do that, uh, or because I'd be very careful before I do it, for two reasons. One, uh, when people are going to realize that all the, a lot of the people who are giving you like five-star reviews all have your, the same last name as you. They're going to, they're going to figure that much out. And also, if... Again, if you're, families, they're going to be pretty biased. Like they're going to be fairly biased and and really give you a positive, right, a more positive review than you deserve. And I don't mean to sound negative or anything about that, but that's actually the second point of book reviews, isn't that the, the book reviews are how your readers communicate with you. You know, and how that sort of, sort of, sort of finishes, a, completes a circle between between you and your readers. Now, your books, those are how you communicate to your readers, but book reviews are how your readers communicate with you. And mo usually what they're communicating is either A, how much I just have a book. <laughs> so let me try that again. Uh, a, uh, how much they loved your book, or B, uh, how you could, what you could do to make your book a little better. Now, take the Gardens of Light, for example. Now, when I first released this, that everybody who read it like, came up to me and said, great story, but you could have done a better job proofreading it. And I, I took their advice, and ever since then, I've been working harder and harder on I'm proofreading and making sure all, I crossed all my T's and dotted all my I's. Now, but still, that, that kind of leaves the problem of, yeah, you're only, you're still only getting like one, one book review for every 200 readers. That's where professional book reviewers come in. And, and you, can, you can go to like, check, check around Facebook or go to YouTube. There are plenty of book reviewers out there. Yeah, but there are a few things you need to keep in mind before you start sending emails to them. I'm asking them to read your book. Okay. The first is make sure you're talking to a book reviewer that you actually respect, like some and know. The reason I say this is because book reviewers, they will, even if they give you a great review, they're probably also going to give you at least one or two critiques. It's and if it's from somebody you respect, it's a lot easier to take those critiques. Also, 
Also, one thing you might also want to consider is, sorry, when looking at book reviewers, is, is checking the fine print on their channels, on their YouTube channels. I say this because as you can go on there, and if you look at the last video they posted, then you'll see they posted three months ago. Okay, they're probably not doing book reviews anymore. Also, uh, if they're self, also if you're a self-published author like me, you really want to read the description down the channels because because uh, a lot of book reviewers won't take take books from self-published authors. Sorry, it it's the world world and how it works. Sorry, but anyway, and another. Th Another thing to look at on their you know, on a YouTube channel from a book reviewer is looking how many people subscribe to that channel. Now the reason I say this is because if it's it's like a, a really uh, high, really popular one with like a like a million review, no, not million reviews, million subscribers. There is chances are that a lot of people are going to be emailing them asking them to read their, their books. And there's a greater chance of you just getting lost in a shuffle on that. On that. At the same time, you don't want to go with somebody who has like only like 10, 10 subscribers, because uh, not a lot of people are gonna do that. It's probably might not even be worth the postage to send your book to them. Um. Personally, I try. Personally, I would say uh, you want to, want to ask a book reviewer who on YouTube has about 500 to 2,000 book uh, subscribers, give or take a, take a few. Just because that's a that's a good butter zone I'm gonna be looking at, it, especially if you're a first time writer. All right now, and the last. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in terms of book reviews is in, 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 talking to other authors about, about reviewing your book. And this is actually why I wanted to make this video, well, because for those of you who you want one my books, uh, watch my videos a lot, watch my books, <laughs> watch read my books. Uh, you, my last video, my last video, I reviewed *The Legends of Grimace Iron Blood* by Ken Boyder, or from *The Bottle of Nymph*. And actually, in that video, I said, I said, uh, Ken Boyder re reviewed one of my books. So, so from, as one author to another, I wanted to review one of his books, and that's actually a really great practice to get into. Into, mostly because you are reading. Not only are, are you getting another author to read your book, but because you're also reviewing one of his books, it helps both of your, your reputations as writers and really gives a bit more credence to your reviews. And this is actually even common practice in, in like super, super popular, uh, officially published authors like, like Rick Warden. And I have seen his name on plenty of book reviews for other, other popular no novels. So, so if there, if you know a local author, uh, contact them and ask them if they, they'd be interested in reviewing your book, in exchange for you reviewing theirs. Uh, I will say this: that I do stress the local part though, because unlike me with a uh, Ken Boyder, it probably. Is, might be a little more cost effective to to uh, review someone else's book who's also in your in the same country as you. At the very least, you'll save a bundle on postage. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it for now. You know, if you guys have any questions about book reviews you know, or think I missed anything, uh, just write them in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page. And until next time, this is James West, signing off.